one tonight. We're previewing the RSW seven-year anniversary show. It's the seven-year itch at Colbank Hall this Saturday, Fairmont State University. We got D.D. Vice. We got Nolan Ryan. We got the returning bake. We got one half of the RSW tag team champions, Anthony Rucker. I'll start with you, D.D. How we feeling, baby? I'm excited. Ooh, I'm locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Nolan Ryan, what a performance loaded. this Saturday against Tyler Rossfield. How you feeling? I uh, feeling like I've been cheated, but we're going to make up for that this Saturday, baby. We'll get into that a little little later in the show. We got Bake no, suspended no more. Welcome back, sir. How you feeling? I'm glad somebody appreciates me, Spooky. I'm... I'm fucking incredible. I'm sipping a big ass apple juice, and I'm about to talk shit about the seven year anniversary. You're, you're that drinking, looks like the you're piss drinking that apple juice with <laughs> or whatever in it. You're crazy. They recalled that shit, and you're drinking it. The eight ounces, baby. Not an eight ounce, <laughs> unless I got baby hands. <laughs> Rucker, how's it feel to be a champ? How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling immaculate. Some might say. Yeah, that's about it. Fair enough, Ruck. Fair enough. We got a big show coming up this Saturday, fellas. I feel like partying. It's going to be a celebration of seven years of real shoot. Before we even start with the matches, the lineup, let's talk about what's been going on in RSW. Let's talk about some of your favorite RSW memories. Hell, let's even specify it to Fairmont State to sell that building. Colbank Hall. Start with you, DD. I saw you in some wars there. What's your absolute Ooh. favorite moment at Colbank Hall? Ooh, my absolute favorite moment at Colbank Hall. Ooh, it's probably got to be <laughs> Pie and Brotherly Love. What a match. It's on the channel. Man, got him with the cream pies. Got him with the cream pie. Cream there was pie a cream pie. right out of the building. And before we go too much further, I also want to say, you got a match this Saturday, three different men, then Sunday... Saturday night special against those bald guys. I forget the, the Wayward Sons. The Wayward Sons in a ladder match, DD and VCW. I renewed my Indy.us subscription just to watch it. How you feeling about this ladder match, bro? Oh, it's a TLC match. Oh, so I'm gonna leave the L to Marcus, and I'll handle the. T I'm excited for it. You guys are long overdue for those belts, and uh, if get them this Saturday. If, if you remember correctly, I was the one that broke the unbreakable table at BCW. Yeah. It's so wait, the wait, 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 wait. We got Dee by himself on a Saturday, and then we got Saturday Night Special on a Sunday. Yep. Different, different pro uh, promotion oh, though. Oh, okay, got you. I was making sure I thought up. That shit, there's too many days getting thrown around. I've hit too many off the uh, the Richard Penske here, and I was trying to catch back up. <laughs> Nolan, I'm going to ask you, sir, your favorite memory at Colbank Hall. I probably know what it is. It's one of my favorite memories. But I could be wrong. Oh. What's your memories up there, man? Mm, favorite one's tough because I whipped the ass end off a guy that's in this chat Ooh. to win the title that's on – the shoulder of another man in this chat. That's actually the it's actually the exact the one that's hanging over the shoulder of the last <laughs> guy in this chat. It all comes together. Kind of weird how that comes full circle full like circle, that. Circle. But my favorite memory, because I don't want to give any credit to anybody else that don't deserve it, <laughs> is when I personally won the fatal four-way match against Current internet champion Vance Desmond, current junior heavyweight contender Huff Manley, and Frat Daddy, who is a guy. What a banger. Fire ass four way. It's even called a fire Damn, ass four way this that, year. So good. Such a good match. It's on the channel. Watch it. I'll put a link in the description. So good. I don't I don't like to brag. I take that back. I absolutely love to brag. <laughs> that match is the reason the Fatal 4-Way became RSW signature. Yeah. yeah. And now we're calling it a fire-ass Fatal a fire ass 4-Way. I love it. Bake, you've had some moments, man. You've had that crowd booing you, throwing shit at you. You've had new members join the unappreciated. So many moments at Fairmont State. 
Give me one or two because you got a few. Uh, I, if I'm doing two, I would have to say uh, the first championship entrance in that building. It's the picture that I'm always posting. It's in the music videos and all that. The picture of them on the post and me on the apron, titles in the air. That's such a great shot. It's over the crowd. Uh, that entrance is definitely up there. And uh, probably when I got brought back into the building by the police, <laughs> we're being, which is wild because usually I'm taken out of buildings by the police I, it's <laughs> never been the other way around uh, but screaming I got warrants and then running through the crowd that's a top 10 moment in life <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah I get it hell yeah Anthony Rucker a place you made your debut You're, a place you go to school Harry. right now went to school then uh, what's going on what, what's your favorite memory Damn, he gets oh, in free. Uh, well, I feel like <laughs> there's only one memory. Uh, I'd probably say my debut. It, uh, it's a pretty good, fond memory. Plus, got to win on the same night, so that was a really good experience. And, and it was even more fun because, like, all the people I go to school with was there, and so it made it really fun. Got that Rucker pop. The first yeah. one. I also made a shit ton of money that night, so that was really awesome. Yeah. Good. Can I can I bring one more mention uh, to the best moments of Colbank Hall? Please do. Because it was the birth of Duzan Mania. Yeah, bro. Oh, when he almost died. Woo! Yeah, dude, he almost oh, like, he got fucked to his fucking head, and he was the biggest star of the match still. Yeah. And That's like. True. It's been just a fucking elevator straight up from there for that, for that dude. He Fun fact that from night. that match, the side of the ring that he got launched out on, my entire family, pregnant fiance and all, lined up right in the front row. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was right there in the crowd, dog. That was the shot I came back on. Yeah, <laughs> like that. And I was like just chilling. And I went, oh, they killed Doozan. That's I but thought they did. That was the birth of the Duzan section, and it's like I said, dude, is his fucking stock has only just fucking gone straight up from there. God bless him, man. God oh, we're putting other people over for Cole Bank Hall, and we got to talk about uh, the last man standing match with Dustin and Vance. First thing that came to my mind when you said it. Go ahead. Going through the like the, the ending of that match with the spine buster through the stage, yeah, and the reaction from the crowd, yeah, wild, yeah, absolute. I still have one of the Legos they used in that match. Dude, it's on my, it's on my one. collectible shelf in my room. That's why I love you, man. Yep, that makes perfect sense. I should have grabbed one too. I'm mad at myself now. You I fellas want to run down this card? Yeah, I I'll sure sure. will. Bakes gonna love this first one. Oh, am I? Yep. The two newest members of the unappreciated Johnny Dump, Muscles, JD Gatton against Mount Kilpus. The war that just won't end. I'll start with you, DD. What's your thoughts and who's gonna win? Oh my god. Hopefully whoever it takes, so we never have to see that match again. <laughs> <laughs> it, they switched it up a little bit. It's different this time. It's not Logan. As someone who has also literally battled nothing but Mount Kilpis for a year's race, <laughs> I can. If ever I've taken the side of the unappreciated, it would be this time. Hopefully, they can just end them, and we never have to see that match again. Hey, I mean, you also had us for nine months right after a year against them, so we only barely edged them out. Yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about memories. Oh, it was a couple years ago. There was Polly against Gannon at Colbank Hall in a crazy war, man. Let's just break it Yeah, up that was a thing. I shouldn't have forgot that. It was a war. Nolan, who you got? Oh, he disappeared. There he is. Oh. Oh, I was hitting the Penske. You can do um, shit. If, Show the word. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm uh, a little anti-unappreciated right now. Uh-oh. Why is that? 
Ah, his muscles is a fucking brick. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a tough one. I've battled Kill Piss myself, tag battles with a partner I'm not going to mention. I've uh, faced off against the unappreciated, albeit they technically weren't the unappreciated yet. And it was two different fucking people, so that, that, that doesn't even come to play. It's I'm going to go with Kill Piss. They've got the experience as a tag team. Um, the only thing that gives me a little cause for caution here is the uh, the prick with the backwards hat on his. The return. I don't know what Rucker did to you, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you got a backwards hat on, Rucker? <laughs> Spin that motherfucker around, right? There you go. I can't Never mind. Turn it back around. Yeah, it's turning back around. It's Baltimore. You're good. Like this. It's like wearing your underwear backwards at this point. Uh, you wear your underwear backwards? That's weird. I'm not wearing Free. underwear, baby. I'm always ready. Free balling. Free balling. I respect it. Fake, you're making your return at a place that yep. you've had some moments, man. Crazy moments. You're making your return. This will probably be your first time out for the night. Unappreciated Mount Kilpis. What's your thoughts? I know who you're going to pick. It, it, Easy to know that Wild Muscle is getting my chance, and I'm not stopping until I get the name Wild Muscle over. Say it again, Wild Muscle. Tim doesn't like it. I'm gonna keep saying it. Wow. Um, it's very simple here. Um, who knows how to beat Mount Kilpis better than the unappreciated? That's true. Saturday night special. I'm one to know. You got this one has a fair point, but there's <laughs> only one of you. So, uh, muscle, muscles and Duff, of course, they've been talking to Logan and Trevor about what needs to be done. And let's not forget, <laughs> Duff and Logan have been tag partners and trained together and all these things. They're great friends. So, they have every single piece of information they need from them and every single piece of information they need from me. That, that's a guaranteed win in my book. Well, okay. Makes sense to me. Anthony Rucker, either one of these teams could be in contention for your tag titles after they win this match. Who do you see winning it? It's weird. Don't sit back too much. You don't have underwear on. <laughs> hey, now. But, yeah. One of us is hitting a goodbye horses for the end of this show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I have, like, like part of me is like you have great power and unorthodoxness from Kilpis, and then you have experience, speed, and strength, especially from unappreciated, uh, and going into probably a lot of game plans for it because of this nefarious man right here. But I don't know. Honestly, I'd flip it into a coin. I think it really depends on what the unappreciated is willing to do to win and what they're going to get away with. And I think that's what it's going to come down to. But either way, me and Dusan are going to kick who's ever asses win. So, either way, I don't care. Makes sense. To there was not enough bass in your voice for you to say what you just said. <laughs> I don't have bass. Dusan does. For some reason. That's the Houston weird. also does not have bass in his voice. I don't. Look, I don't either, and I'm 40, so, you know. Well, I'll tell you a memory well, I have. Well, I can hear my bitch. Okay. But one of the memories I have from Fairmont State's pretty recent. I was out there with Muscles. He was uh, taking pictures. We was out there one match. We was joking, making uh, talk, joking between the matches and having a good old time. And then the next match, he takes his camera and blasts Polly in the head. So. Oh, uh, man, that was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, man. You think you know somebody. Oh. We'll probably ask for it, though. It's... No, he did not ask for it. Paulie didn't I ask mean, for it. if it him. happens to him more often than anybody for him to not ask for it. The sweetest dude we have, man. Come on. Or is it a front? Uh, there's, there's some fucking animosity behind those hugs, brother. <laughs> there's something. Fair enough. But uh, not being passive aggressive. Because of that, uh, Muscles has treated me like shit ever since. Uh, 
I don't know. He just he's a shithead, so I gotta go with Mount Kilpus. I still have your hat you stole. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, I'd like that back one day, but if you'd like to bring it this Saturday, I mean, it's kind of a party. We're kind of all in this together. We're all celebrating RSW. We are RSW. Too bad, high school musical shit to yourself. So, you know, we're kind of in this together Saturday, so if you want to give me back my hat, that would be appreciated. Let's see what I did there? Anyway. Mike, just for that. got his ass. <laughs> The next match on the listing is uh, very interesting to me. Shithead piece of shit. Oh, my God, this guy. Lane fucking Cali fucking up my life. But I got something for his ass. So we can't really ask you who you think is going to win because you don't know who my mystery man is. But I'll ask you guys, who do you think it is? I'll start with you, Dee Dee. And thank you for coming to my rescue in Mannington and handling his ass. But who who do you think's next? Oh, you mean the good the, the good commentary duo? That's right. I know how to put people over. Thank you, man. Terry, go. I want to get on the. I want to get you on there Saturday on a match, man. I'm busy. Do you see what I have to do on Saturday, Jesus? <laughs> He's busy. Don't worry, you got at least one it. match off. Um. So we're guessing who who the mystery is, huh? Sure. And whatever you think about what's going on, just lay it on the line. S sell me all you want. So, I'll tell you who it's not going to be. Okay. It's not going to be Sid Justice. Too oh, soon? man. Too ah, soon. Too oh, soon. Wow. And I'm the heel. Wow. But, um... Bit insensitive, that one was, wasn't it? Well, wow. There goes that's all subscribers. Thanks. It's late. I've been up for way too fucking long at this point. Um, <laughs> so, and stick to your goddamn time, kid. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who you're friends with, man. Uh, everybody likes me. I'm That's my goddamn fool, or we wouldn't be in this fucking situation, now <laughs> would we? Well, I can name three people who have slapped you in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Everybody loves me. I've got three it's fucking people jumping me. <laughs> my daughter was like, Why are you beefing with all these kids? Why are you beefing with 19 and 20 year olds? And I'm, I don't have an Solid. answer. I'm trying to make this place better. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Nolan, who do you think I got? I don't know who you got. Um, I'm going to assume somebody related to the RSW family in some way, shape, or form. Somebody that's been here. It is an anniversary show. Good chance it could be from somebody's past, but who knows? You're not that well-connected, Spooky. What? I'm Spooky. I'm just going to say this to Lane Cowley. Please do. Next time you want to get into Nolan Ryan's business, there will be more than a right hand coming your way, son. There will be a Shindy 500. Can't wait. Dare you, Lane Cowley. I dare you. Bake, what's your thoughts on all these happenings? Who do you think I got? What do you think of Lane Cowley? What's going on? Hakushi. Did you just say? Hakushi. Where the fuck you go, kid? It, like, <laughs> my iPad fucked. <laughs> just... just Professional. Welcome I'm back. Trying to, over, I'm trying to put over good Japanese talent, and he's turned his camera off. <laughs> Telling you, never the, even the heard of that opponent is well. Takushi Full Kanji. I don't even know who it is. <laughs> Isn't that the Bret Hart guy? The, the Bret Hart. Yeah, oh, hold on. Bret Hart that one time. Yes. Okay, yeah, fuck The you. child knew it. <laughs> the life of professional wrestling didn't. Here, ready? Ready for me to prove what kind of Mark Spooky Lou is? Uh, Jim Day Shinzaki tagged with Hayabusa at Heat Wave 98 against RVD and Sabu. Yes, sir. One of the best matches in the AW history. I was there the next year. I didn't catch that one, but I was at Heat Wave 99. I tell you who else. Uh, and, and as for Lee Callis, I'm glad. That this is being brought up in front of the man it happened to. Uh, Lane Kelly has zero connection with the appreciate. Zero. I don't fuck. I listen. I don't like Lane Kelly. 
Cool. I didn't approve that. I didn't call that. And we know if I did, I'd be fucking bragging about it. Okay. I don't like them. Good. I don't like anybody getting in our business. See what you did, Lane, you idiot. Big dummy. But it's definitely Hakuchi. I tell it's funny we're mentioning all these Japanese wrestlers. I'll tell you who else that it isn't. It will not be Masato Tanaka. You won't believe me, but I did reach out this week and see how much it would be to book Masato Tanaka, and it's crazy. It'll never happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can told you that. <laughs> Maybe we'll Shit. try to go fund me or something. Fucking Dee Dee's kitten could have told you that. Well, I thought it was worth a shot. They put out a post Sweet little kitten. He's my friend. Nah, brother, he was taking care of shots for Mike Austin. That fucking rates out of this world. <laughs> Yo, listen. Uh, Tanaka fucking... did a he he did a death match here. Like I want to say it's like six eight months ago. It was I want to say Matthew Justice? Okay. Dude still looks phenomenal. Oh yeah, he can still oh, go. Cool. I yeah, never I never yeah. doubted that. I'm just saying like that brother was on ECW one night stand. You know what I mean? He's asking for a good pay window. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, honest, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. Fuck it. I'm pretty sure it was four grand plus Ooh, airfare. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't got that. No, nah, we ain't we got that. Not, not even close. <laughs> nah, Tim Cross put all that in his entrance way. <laughs> it's sweet, though. It's fucking it is sweet. It's boy. Rucker, you are very familiar with this asshole at this point. My apologies. Uh, who do you think I got? And a boy, Rock. I'm thinking, so, I feel like I can my guess, but I don't think, he's only in Knoxville, so, like, it's possible. Who? It's possible. It's gotta be Kane. It's never, fuck Kane. Wait, somebody's knocking, one second. I said, what? This what, dude. what if it's Blue Kane? I'll take Blue I'd Kane, but Blue he can't Blue Kane anymore. What up? We got Mrs. Rock. Everybody, round of applause. Ah, oh, she's oh, filming. The door. The door. Oh, fuck. Oh, How, shit. What is going on? Hey, is that El Prego? Fuck him up, Rucker. Hey. Yeah, get his ass. Get his <laughs> What is going on? Russell Roney, baby. Get his ass. Good. Come on, Faith. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for recording, Faith. He Faith turned the porch light on. The oh, shit. Oh, he's burning <laughs> his ass. <laughs> Gave me my fucking shit. Uncle Phil, bro. <laughs> All right. Maybe I get a little bit of respect yeah. from Rock. Wow. Alter- well, that was... El Grega showed up at his house at his apartment and he just kicked his ass right here on the Roni. You never know what's going to happen on the Roni. I think I hurt my hand. Jesus. Did you? I did not have so much new Jazzy show. Jeff in my fucking bingo card for this episode, by the way. Wow. Yeah, dude, you straight Jazzy Jeff that motherfucker. Well. <laughs> Uncle Fieldy, fuck. Ah. It's all downhill from here. Wow. I appreciate you, Rock. That dude needed it. So my guess. <laughs> It's got to be El Grego now, right? Like, this motherfucker's just popping up. Hell no. He does just... No? Hey, who is this cat, by the way? Like, I'm, I'm a little new. I went away for a while and stuff. There's a whole thing. He ruined thing. my birthday. He ruined Halloween. He was the original. Someone poked him in the aisle and Rony? So this yeah. motherfucker's just the Grinch of Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Like, he's the Grinch of wrestling? I'm he with gets, He gets fucked up every time he comes around, but he keeps coming around. He cut I'm my hair. Like, I was zero supposed overall. to wrestle El Grego at the Mannington Fair, and he never showed up. Of course he did. Well, he was well, goddamn trying to find Rucker, apparently. Probably at the apartment. He knew better. Rucker, here you Bane. go. He said Bane, baby. What's going on now? Is there more? No, the cops are Nah, really Faith there. was complaining about something. We went off the rails. Rucker gets arrested. This is the best Russell Roney. <laughs> Cops are at the door shutting us down. I will say this. Lane Cali will never be the same after Saturday. I've got a plan. I've got a plan A, plan B, plan D through F, baby. He's done. Saturday, baby, listen, I've never been on a graphic. I'm on a graphic. I get to go up on that stage, introduce my mystery guy. I'm Seven-year anniversary show. It don't get no bigger than this for me, man. So, uh, just, folks, 
Come to Fairmont Tim State. Tebow. See it for yourself. Let's see what the next match is. That's all I got to say about it. I don't want to give too much away, but I am very excited for that one. That's apparently. Nope. Nolan Ryan against Trevor Gage. Now things are going to get a little weird. DD, I'll start with you. What do you think? Ooh. Having uh, having gone to war with both of these men, I'm excited to see it. But I don't think I don't think Trevor's ready for the new and improved thing Nolan Ryan. I don't think he's ready for it. He's not he's not had enough matches to study. True. Mm. You can go back and watch the Goblin or Phineas, but it's not the same guy. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think Nolan's got the advantage there. Uh-oh. Oh, I had the advantage from day one, baby. So you're going with Nolan on this one? I'm going to have to go with Nolan on this one. No offense, babe. We got cats. We got faith. This is a fucking show, man. Nolan, what's your thoughts? Oh, buddy. Ooh. Oh, see, that's the beauty of it here, boy. Any advantage Trevor would have had going into this is gone. President Sean has already announced. Bake. The muscle boy, the wannabe cowboy, and the kid in the Muay Thai shorts, every single one of them are banned from ringside. Mm. It's just Trevor and me, one-on-one. And we've already known that the unappreciated only appreciate their numbers. There's not a single one of them that can win without the numbers advantage. One-on-one. So come Saturday, Trevor Gage, you are going to learn exactly what it means when you put on them working boots and step in there with an actual blue-collar, hard-ass working boy. Promise you. I'm excited for that one. Before I get to you, Bake, for your rebuttal to that, another memory popped in my head. Trevor Gage and Violent Vance Desmond a couple years ago at Fairmont State. That was a banger. Just want to throw it out there. Trevor's a talented wrestler. I'm not trying to take anything away from Trevor. Trevor is a very talented wrestler. Trevor's been in this game for a very, <coughs> excuse me, very long time. Underrated. <laughs> Goddamn, shouldn't have hit that Penske and tried to talk. No, very underrated. He's been at this eight some years, grew up in this very, very business as a very young boy. Been in the ring with some great talent, the likes of which even shared the ring with a Tito Santana, a WWE Hall of Famer. This is nothing against Trevor Gage, but this is going to be a lesson. I dig it. Bake, I'm sure you got plenty to say. Who's got their TV all loud with my professional podcast? Probably the rock bottom he's fight, it's definitely oh, man. Yes, is he he's so fucking unprofessional. Fight if it's fat bottom day? girls, it's definitely me. I thought you couldn't hear it because you never brought it up. So I was like, okay, it's fine. It's not. It's oh, is it rock? I still appreciate you. Okay, can you hear it now? <laughs> it's good. Now I, we got I thought you were talking about the fat bottom girls coming through. That was me. All right. I was making face walk wrestling. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Bake, I'm sure you got plenty you want to say. Have at it. Uh, First and foremost, I'd like to dispute that claim that the unappreciated can't win on their own because I miss multiple shows. Logan wins all of the state, and Trevor won plenty of matches solo. Let's get that out of the way. Logan just won the uh, light heavyweight, junior heavyweight title on his own. He, no fair and square, but he won on his own. Uh, First of all, and I hate to say it, I don't like saying things in front of people. <laughs> That's the sleeper match of the night. Okay. And if you disagree with that, you're wrong. Period. Let's we'll start with that. I have all the respect in the world for that man's ability. I watched his first match. I watched him win championships. I called those matches. But as he said, Trevor Gage has grown up in this business. 
He eats, sleeps, breathes this business. I don't have to be out there. Logan doesn't have to be out there. That's the disgusting part about the unappreciated. We don't do it because we have to. We do it because it's fun. Damn. I like the look in somebody's eyes when they realize they are outnumbered and there is no way they're coming out of this situation on top. But I have no problem staying in the back or staying behind the camera on commentary and watching that 12-gauge kick like no other. Trevor will take that match. I called the unappreciated sweep, and I meant it. I meant it. I don't have to be there. I don't have to get involved. You've seen social media. What am I going to do? I rolled my ankle two days ago. I can barely walk. Are we talk? Well, if he's still worried about me, crazy. I've been gone almost three months. Crazy. <laughs> you want to talk 12 gauges? That's kind of funny. Uh oh. There goes, there goes my monetization. Okay. Uh oh. You see, you talk about how 12 gauges kick, Bake. Oh, I'm actually very experienced with them. Oh, pardon you. <laughs> Get that gun away from him, please. <laughs> We got cats, we got dogs, we got guns. <laughs> it's wild. Just for the fun part. Even got the intimidator on the butt. Even got the intimidator on the butt. You want to talk hell. about your 12-gauge kicking, baby. You're talking about the man that handles him for a living. I, I want to clarify, Nolan Ryan will not have a shotgun at Fairmont State. You'll be fine. No. Bring your kids. It'll be fine. He's le You're leaving the gun at home, right? Oh, of course. Stand up. Just kind a little bag. Point. If oh, sure. kill, nobody better ever say anything about me ever again. <laughs> Anthony Rucker, you're very familiar with uh, Trevor Gage at this point. Uh, who do you think? Who do you think is going to win this one? Ooh. Well, really, I've only been in matches with Trevor, so it's not like there's that extensively, but one of the matches was the biggest match of my career so far. So really, and I've never wrestled Nolan, I've never locked up with Nolan, so I cannot speak on the first-hand experience of Nolan. I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs> so this would really be, and yes, I've never had a singles match with Trevor either. So I do. I, I can't really. I'm not the. One so basically, you're uninformed. Go on. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Bake. Jeez, man. Let me let me drizzle a little with like some or oregano or something. Oh, Come you're on. drizzling right now. <laughs> <laughs> you call right, well, shit. It's a coin flip. They got him. Let's bake. It's good. Then Nolan. You got Nolan. I'd probably say Nolan. That's a good pick. Right. Safe bet. Fair enough. All right. All right. Hey, and we're talking about that could be the sleeper match. I tell you, every match on this card, I cannot pick a match of the night. Any match. It's full of bangers, and I'm not going to say it's not. Yeah. That's not a slight on anybody. Any well, match could be match of the night. It's, it's one of those cards. But you understand that I know talent. Oh, yeah. That man has talent. There's no denying that part. Yeah. I know the talent the unappreciated has. That's match of the night. And this is a very, very RSW match. You talk about two RSW wrestlers. This is a very RSW match. But the reason I say any match could steal the show, let's talk about this next one. Segue into that. It's another fire ass four way. DD Vice, mm -hmm. Dominic Dallas Star, been turning heads, kicking ass. Tyler Jack's coming back to RSW and another return from Christian Noir. We haven't seen this man since he lost to Redacted in Morgantown about a year ago. So <laughs> it's very I'm glad to see him back. What are, you, what are you laughing about? I'm not talking about Dr. Redacted. I'm just talking about Redacted. If you were talking about Dr. Redacted, that'd be pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, he's pretty yeah, cool. Does, but, I only know Dr. Acula. <laughs> Fire ass four way. Let's take it to the man that's gonna be in it. What's your thoughts on these three opponents, man? You got your hands full, Dee Dee. So, no, 
have I never stepped in the ring with any of these guys? Really? I've <laughs> never been in a singles four-way match. So this is all new territory. But, don't get me wrong. Three talented guys. Talented guys. Super talented guys. Super talented. Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. In the night. All going to leave with wings. Bam! Fucking angel wings. Wing them up. Halos and all. I'm about to roll in there like E Honda and hit them with a thousand hand slap. Thousand hand slap. I can't wait. Nolan, you've been in some fire ass four ways of Fairmont State. Man, this, uh, is, this is a banger. Who who you got? Oh, buddy. I, see, the thing, fun thing is, is I've been to E.D. Weiss multiple times. He's, uh, I think you got the, I think you got the edge on me. That's, that's unrelated because that was also when I was tagging with Redacted. <laughs> you also had to duct tape me to the corner, pal. Uh, yeah, kicks you right in your stupid mouth, too. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> Tyler Jax is an incredible talent, young, athletic as, uh, as all hell, trained by Jason Kincaid. The kid's got the credentials to be something in this business. Dominic uh, Dallas star. Paid? Star? Star. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I this is the first. I, I'm not. I'm. It's not a disrespect to the guy. I literally couldn't remember his name. This is the first time hearing his name. Um, Sweetheart. He, he, I'm sure he is. Again, I've never met the gentleman. I, I'm very unfamiliar, as you can tell. Um, Dominic Dallas Star. Not a slight towards your brother. Just haven't seen your work yet. Uh, Christian Noir. I have seen before, and um, yep. So I'm gonna go with Didi. Hell yeah. Fair enough. Bake, you've seen some four ways Fairmont State. Uh, this is a tough one, man. Who you got? Uh, it's not that tough, if we're being honest here. Oh, okay. It's not tough. Um, first and foremost, much like Nolan, I've never seen Star work because the only show that I've ever been a part of that he was on was um, Buckhand. Oh. So I didn't see much. Talk about um, yeah, you had your hands full, apparently. Uh, you know, Tyler I'm Jacks. I'm with the brother. Oh, fun stuff. Tyler Jacks has a future and a half. There, there's no denying that. I think Tyler Jacks has the experience. More importantly, I don't think Tyler Jacks has the experience with bigger men. Giggity. And he's the smallest man in the match. <laughs> Um, I think the only real competition here is Christian Noir because he's more of an unknown because he's only a handful of mountains. I've seen him a lot. Me and Tim traveled up to Rise to watch a show years ago that he was on. Great talent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the guy, the guy he, he's, he's got the size. He's got the like speed to be a big guy. Yeah. And he's been around for a, a, a hot minute himself. He's got a, a lot of experience in that ring. Way too yep. agile to be. I feel fun. like I undersold him, so I had to jump in there and kind of correct that. <laughs> Fine. It's true. It's true. And he's been in with some world-class talent. You know what he's never been in the ring with? A human double wide. Damn. I've been hit by that motherfucker before, first of all. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to hear he, that. He, he hits hard. I've seen him hit other people really fucking hard. I'm, I mean, this, he almost killed this one yep. a couple times. <laughs> Honestly, he almost killed fucking three fifths of his screen a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> Bless, you. Bless you. I'm going Didi. And I'm not just saying that because apparently I'm one of his pals now. <laughs> All right, so Dee 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 Rucker, who you got? Well, I feel like this is, this is the first time we're all together on one. Both my boy Dee Dee. One simple reason: look, it doesn't matter if Dee Dee actually wins the match; he's gonna win overall. 
no one's walking out of there feeling good about their win if they do win it. No. <laughs> you don't beat DD Vice, you survive DD Vice's hands. That, that's just <laughs> what it is. As somebody who got the pin but did not feel like a winner against DD Vice, you just he slapped the uh, fuck out of you. Imagine. Yeah, you kind of just survive and keep it pushing. Keep it moving. Imagine if it gets down to DD in the war at one point. That's what I want. Ooh. Oh. I hope it does. A lot of meat in there. I want big, meaty oh, men man. flapping meat. meat. It's a whole lot of meat. A lot of goddamn cock meat. The Rucker, you I saying DD? Say meat. Didi. I'm going to go DD as well. A lot of goddamn cock meat. That's a man, man. decision. DD got a sweep on that one. Sweep. Now we're getting into the title matches, boys. We got a lot of titles, but that's okay. D. Vice and the Shane Willis of West. <laughs> the Golden Boys are finally going to challenge Airstar for the Tag Team Championships. I believe this is your third defense of the titles. Am I right? Let me just get my book real quick. I don't know for sure. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I would be mad at him for not knowing, but I want to respect him for having the book that keeps track of his wins and losses. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, Didi, I'll start with you. What's your thoughts on the tag team championship match, sir? So I've I've never I've never been in the ring with the Golden Boys. I've seen a lot of them, but I'll tell you this right now: having those straps puts you in a different mindset. It puts you on another level. So I'm gonna have to go with the boys in Airstar. Air star. I watched Rucker get the absolute dog shit kicked out of him for dog like shit. 17 minutes straight. 17 he kept getting up. I've been kept in the ring up. with Doozin, and he keeps Doozin. getting up. Keeps getting up. So I gotta go with the I gotta go with the boys. Not the, gotta go with the boys. With the red boys. Okay. The red boys. It's not Red Star. That shit ain't happening. That, 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 We're that, not that. communists no more. Yeah, they're not communists. <laughs> Rucker, it's Russell Roney. Tell me the story about why Red Star changed to Air Star. <laughs> <laughs> or do you want me to tell it so I get in trouble instead of you? Uh, <coughs> fine. I can tell the story. Uh, so, Tim's like, we need a name. And I was thinking of like, weird stuff i was like we should give like high octane or something like that and tim's like tim's like what about red star because red for doozin because he calls me the red nine okay. and i'm the ruck star and i'm just like cool and he's like let's make merch and i'm just like all right we get that done and done blah 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 so fourth of july we beat the unappreciated so tim and the whole time in the back everybody's calling us commies and so we we're all laughing about it and apparently tim cross did not know a red star signified communism and i love that about him because he's a true red blooded man <laughs> and so the team of the team called red star wins on fourth of july as the baby faces beautiful 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 and so tim calls me the next day and he goes hey uh bubby <laughs> That's uh, such a good Tim Cross. Make by the way, <laughs> yeah. Keep the Tim Cross voice while you're telling us. <laughs> just like, That's so good. <laughs> just like he's like you're hey, no baby, and I'm just like What's up, and he's like, look, how okay with you are we going from red um to something else? He's like, what about Air Star? And I'm just like, I, I don't really care. I only made two shirts, and I'm just like, well. You're the one who um, had the communist on the show. So, I mean, you're the bad guy, not me. So, I guess that's how it goes. On the 4th of July, fireworks going off and everything. America's birthday, the communists go over. <laughs> I'm the bad. I appreciate you sharing the story. Thank you, Rucker. Sorry if you lose your belt Saturday because of that. Like, like that could happen. But anyway, Nolan, who you got? Why, why, why you got him? I tell you what, man, uh, I just watched the team of the Golden Boys actually beat the former tag team champion, unappreciated, uh, Muscles and Logan, this past Saturday. Yeah. 
could have appreciated you guys being out there uh, during my match, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Golden Boys are a talented tag team. Very talented. <clears throat> Rucker, I'm a little unfamiliar with you. However, I'm not unfamiliar with your tag team partner. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had quite a uh, heated little tip. He's in a redacted stable with him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But also, I just kind of like ruined his fucking life last year. <laughs> yeah, you so, have a little feud. Uh, yeah, you know, a little back and forth. My belt, I took his back. It was, fuck, it was fucking eye for an eye shit, man. He got it back in the end. He fucking he was fine. <laughs> he was fine. <laughs> Air Star, you're in the middle of a tag team reign. Is this your first title defense or? No, it's like third, I think. Third title defense. Ooh, that's a good one. I didn't make it that far. I think you were watching TV when we said that, Nolan. Yeah, I didn't make it that far in my reign. Um, <laughs> I'll go with the Air Boys just because I like the Golden Boys, but I think you guys, you might just be finding yourself there. You might be on the hot roll there. And I'm going to roll with the Air Star Boys just because. Uh, just because. Hell yeah. Man. I like the Golden Boys. I think they're tag team champs. I just don't know if it's uh, Saturday. Makes sense. Bake, I'm sure you're very interested in this one. I'm sure you definitely want to get those titles back in the unappreciated stable. Uh, who you got? What are you thinking? Greedy bastard. First and foremost, since he leaned back, shout out T.L. Andrews. Uh, the most important thing I want to say about this match is can they both lose? No. Can we make that happen? Nope. Uh, I think best case scenario is like a draw. Where's Dusty when you need him? <laughs> it's the seven-year anniversary show. No Dusty finishes. No draws. It, it's going down. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to say Dusty is right now, to be honest with you. I'm going to have to say Airstar because when it comes to the Golden Boys, uh, fuck them. First of all, fuck them right in the ear. <laughs> and I would prefer pretty blunt to take those championships back as opposed to winning them from somebody else. So I'm going Airstar. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll dig it. Rucker, it's your match. What's your thoughts, Bobby? Well, so there's something special about this one for me specifically is because the Golden Boys have helped out more than a lot of guys. And that's no shade to anybody. It's just any time it's like they're always there. And so this is kind of a match where I want to prove myself. Even though I have the champ, a part of me still like I'm the youngest guy. I have to still prove myself every time. And with Dusan, I feel like it's going to be one of the most fun, one of the mo one of the most challenging matches in my career so far. And I'm going for nothing less than pure victory against them because I want to beat them. And it's plain and simple. I want to be everybody. I want to yeah. be the best yeah. best in case in point. And to do that, I have to beat even the guys I consider my friends. And that's just what it is. They've been flip flopping though. One time, one day they'll show up to show they're all nice. Next time they show up, they're assholes. Bipolar or something. And why is what he doing the two wolves inside? Of He's on the town, I'm sure. <laughs> we get weird. First of all, they're from Ohio. That's their problem. <laughs> yeah. Upset. So I think it's another sweep. We all chose Air Star. I'm choosing Air Star, of course. Yep. Sorry, Golden. They're really fucking funny if Rucker picked the Golden Boys. <laughs> I was, I was like, you know what? It's been a good rain, guys. But yeah. I had a good run, boys. I think it's over, though. Listen, hear me out. Before this goes any further, you guys are all going to be there Saturday. I need you guys to look at Jonesy and look at Pat Paul Wrestling and tell me that Jonesy doesn't look a little bit like Pat Paul Wrestling if he listened to, like, a lot of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm mad because I see it already. I don't have to see them on Saturday. Like, I need to take a picture of them together to see exactly how, like... It's... You're an asshole, but yes. <laughs> yes. 100%. Fellas, this Shit, next Rock one... Put the J.D. McDonough filter on. Look how big his fucking head is. <laughs> Jesus. That's what he's going to look like after I punch him. You're going to punch hey. Rucker? You're not allowed to punch. Don't show up you punching people. You just... <laughs> Gonna be going yeah, what kind of asshole goes around punching people? Put vaginas in the <laughs> forehead. Who does that shit? <laughs> Quit putting vaginas in people's forehead. Don't do it this show. One show, it's the anniversary show. Let's play nice. Hey, again, as the only man who's been here for every anniversary show, this is the one show I wouldn't ruin. Thank you. And props to you, sir, since... I'm fucking old, bro. I've been here since day... Not day one, like month three, but still. Month three, month in seven three. years. That ain't bad. Month three ish. Down since. Month Down three. since. Three month ish. I like it. This next one. Yes, yeah, yeah. fellas. I'm super excited for this one. Huff Manley. What a talent. Eight, the eight big, eight bit kid now. Just tearing it up, tearing it up since he came back. But a man that's got crazy momentum, been on a crazy roll, not just an RSW, everywhere he goes, he's dominating and beating ass. It's been Logan Taylor's year. Logan Taylor is our current junior heavyweight champion. DD, I'll start with you. This is a banger. This is certified, guaranteed. I'll, I put my name, put my podcast, my channel, everything on it. Guaranteed banger. DD, what's your thoughts? I have to reiterate what you said. Have to reiterate. Buff Manley's coming back. Coming back. for a little while with an injury. He's out. Logan Taylor's been on a roll forever. On a roll. Oh, yeah. But on a roll. On a roll. So I think I think it has to go. I'm, I'm going to have to go with Logan Taylor on this one. As much as I don't want to. Don't want to. Because he's an asshole. And asshole. he's the reason that my fucking tag partner had to leave the first time. The first time, yeah. I have to give it to Logan Taylor. Gotta give it to him. <laughs> give it to Logan Taylor. Give it to Logan Taylor. Give it to him. Thank you for your part. Wait. I saw, uh, uh, so, yeah, whatever. Yeah, look. Good looking kid for sure. <laughs> Nolan Ryan, who are you thinking? This is gonna be a good match. Fuck a bunch of Logan Taylor. I'm calling Huff Manley. Fuck a bunch of Logan Taylor. Oh yeah. Well, well it, elaborate for me. Why? So far, I don't need to elaborate. Oh, <laughs> not like it's a podcast or anything. I, I get it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Logan Taylor's a dickhead. He also got into my match and he talks a bunch of trash. He can't back up. I'm picking Huff Manley. Okay. All right, we're split. I like this. We're we're getting some different viewpoints. Bake, I'm sure you're very invested. What's your thoughts? If he says Huff Manley, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's leaving. I have a lot of respect for Huff Manley. The video was posted right before we started this. I, I said that in the video, and I'll say it now. Me and Huff Manley have had plenty of conversations, both at shows and not at shows. But you are not wrong when you say that Logan has been on a roll and it does not matter if it's singles or tag or anything else. Doesn't even matter what yeah, promotion, looked, what town. Yeah, he looked on a roll against Dustin, didn't he? Uh, this past weekend, he, he killed one of, He has a championship. Where's yours? Uh-oh. He has your championship, remember? Yours. Jeez. Oh, yeah. You got and it screamed. Got it, got, it got stripped of me. Oh. Say it. That's a cricket. There will be no crickets during this match, I guarantee you. Bullshit. I'm throwing a bag of crickets in the fucking ring. <laughs> Deep fried crickets. See how you roll a match when you're ducking and dodging crickets in your face. <laughs> That'd be dangerous. I don't think that's been also, done before. Also, I'm barely no shit about video games. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this facade. It's a charade. Okay? Sick of it. 
I don't like it. Kid, kid got some gear made. All of a sudden, he's a gamer. Mm, I don't like it. Logan hits harder than anybody in that locker room. I said what I said. And I'm saying it with this guy sitting right here. Logan is going to knock Huff's head into the third row into the same seat that Duzan's face went into. Oh, shit. And I'm going to walk out the same door I tried to walk out when I got handcuffed, laughing about it. Wait, is Duzan who Logan beat for the title? Yeah. I don't know. I was suspended. Yeah. Was that, that's who he beat. He hit him in the that, Oh, okay. Okay. That's funny. I beat the same guy for the same title. Mm-hmm. I counted that 10. Man. I don't think that's a brag. That's your tag partner, dummy. <laughs> Look, I'm, you are I was, all I over the place. place. To be fair, everybody's all over the place. It's, it's no, I'm Logan. I... I'm going Logan Taylor. I'm blocking his face. I can't look at him. <laughs> I'm going Logan. Oh, did, did he block me or did he block Rucker? Blocked Rucker. Yeah. Why are you such a hater? Because you're Why a goddamn you on. I can't see. I think I so think wait. we're gonna get serious Rucker for this pick. This is serious Rucker. Rucker. Oh yeah, we're getting Lan- we're getting Lance Storm like, Rucker, are we? All right. There we go. If I could be, like serious, be serious for a moment. For a moment. I, I love y'all. I'm glad I got some fellow Lance Storm fans in here. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm a Lance Storm fan if anybody is. I've seen your work. I think you've watched a few Lance Storm matches. <laughs> and I love it. Rucker, serious Rucker, what's your thoughts, man? Huff Manley, Logan Taylor, Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. His old thing is right now. Just saying. I think going with Logan Taylor for one reason and one reason only. Because I want him to hold that belt so I can take it. Personally. That's about it. You want to do Only because I'll never be 210 pounds. Yeah. Hey, I, I like go from that to that. What if my thigh time. competed for the junior heavyweight title? <laughs> nope. Dude, you're a double wide. You're out. <laughs> What about you, Spooky Lou? Who the fuck you got? Man, this is a tough one. This is a t- like, if Huff is was it? fighting almost, well, Logan's on a roll, man. I gotta go with Logan. They're just, just so I know I'm right. Uh, there's no denying him right now, man. He's unstoppable. I saw him beat Paul know. Cash. I've seen him go to war with Dustin and take him to his limit. I saw him beat Duzan just time after time. You know what he did this weekend? He was. At our show's kicking ass. Then he went to another promotion, beat a Marine, and put an American flag over him. And I'm getting messages from people saying they were appalled. He appalled some folks beating up a Marine and putting an American flag over him. Who the fuck is Paul? Well, Marine shouldn't have been talking shit if he couldn't back it up. How about that? You can't fight Logan Taylor, Taylor, let alone fight for this country. All of them. Logan Taylor beat his ass, whoever this Marine is. He beat his ass and be- put an American flag on him and did his thing. After kicking John ass at Cena. RSW. I can't emphasize that, that enough. No, it was the Miz. He just goes from town to town beating ass. I'm going with Logan Taylor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, number one draft. I get it. Check this one out, fellas. Eastern Continental Championship on the line. Another one that could steal the show, man. Theo Strong. And another man that's been on one hell of a roll. Shane Krizak. DD, what do you think, man? I don't... Again, being a champion takes you to another level. It, another it, level. I'm going to have to go with Krizak for this one, I think. going to have to go. All right, short and sweet. Nolan, what do you think? I got a lot of experience with Kryzak, uh being he was one of the coaches at the Power Slam Academy during my uh, tenure there as a student. Theo Strong has made quite a name for himself over in the Ohio land. It's been uh, quite a – it's almost been the same story of two different places for these two dudes. 
Because Theo Strong's been on a roll over in Ohio for various promotions. Kryzak, he's just been so consistently good for so long that he, you're starting to see the championships kind of fall into fall into place for him now. I'm going to have to pick Shane Kryzak. Um, nothing against Theo Strong, though. I think he very well could pull the upset, could win the championship. But I just – I think uh, – I think Shane Kryzak's kind of got himself figured out right now. To, he knows what it takes to defend that title. No debating that. No debating that. Bake, you've seen both these men at work. Who you got? Um, first and foremost, Shane Kryzak's my favorite wrestler that's not in the undefeated. I understand. I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, secondly, and again, I hate that he's here. I wasn't told he was going to be here before I thought about all these things. I want to see Nolan wrestle in cries at. Oh, man. Oh, I'll take that challenge any day. That's the match I want, first of all. As a fan, as a commentator, that's the match I want. Now, when it comes to this match, Theo's no joke. Nolan said it everywhere in Ohio. Win, 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 win. He's moving around the tri-state area picking up dubs. Kryzak is one of the cleanest wrestlers I've ever seen firsthand. Ain't that the truth. He does mm. not make many mistakes. No. And in a championship match, the only way you're winning is if somebody makes a mistake. I don't see it happen. Not to mention, Kryzak also is responsible for arguably the greatest picture in the history of RSW, speaking of seven years. That picture in the rain with the raindrop coming off the fucking 80s villain mustache? Oh my Scott. God. Incredible. I'm going crazy. That's a sexy picture. So good. So good. Going with cry, Zach. Rucker, what do you think, man? Oh, God, I got to go with cry, Zach. He's kicked my ass enough times where I can't against him on anything. Gotta go, Chris. <laughs> All right. Well, any further thoughts on the Eastern Continental Championship from anybody? I want to that belt. You doing, baby? Pretty. Kitty. Kitty. Another, another one, fellas. Who the fuck you got? Oh, I'm going Krizak, man. Krizak's undeniable right now. I'm in love with that man. Another sweet man. Yeah. Got to go with Krizak. He's undeniable right now, man. Here's another one that could steal the show. I tell you, this past Saturday in Buckhannon, holy shit, what a match. We got Matthew Taylor, the guiding light, against Vance Desmond. Start with you, DD. Who you got? I'm just excited to see this one. Right. <laughs> I'm excited to see it, like... Two dudes that have been around for a long time. I don't know. I might have to. I might have to go with the guiding light on this one. Makes sense. I mean, whew, I don't know. I don't, I'll, I'll, I've seen I'll a lot of Matt good. Taylor. I've seen him do do a, all over all over the tri-state area. So I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with guiding light on this one. All right, makes sense. Nolan. What are you thinking, Bubby? It's a good, good matchup here. Two incredibly ex experienced wrestler. Vance Desmond, he's been just about everywhere you could be. He's been on TNA. On, I mean, he's been on TNA television facing the monster abyss. Yep. I mean, this is the kind of veteran we're talking about when it comes to the current internet open weight championship, if that's still the name of it. Fucking belts had 100 names. Um, <laughs> Matt Taylor, though, is not a fucking – no rookie by any means. He's also been a, an incredible veteran. He's no stranger to RSW. I don't even think he's a stranger. Like you said, the Vance just had an incredible match this past weekend. They're going to run that thing back this Saturday. Boy, it's tough. Vance Desmond, he's been really good for about a year now, like a solid – year in real shoot wrestling internet championship against uh if i'm not mistaken wasn't that against you rucker yeah yeah <laughs> ah, that happens, buddy 
Not to me, but it happens to you. Sensitive subject. Yeah. Yep. I Matt Taylor, he's back. been he's beaten and been in the ring with some of the best RSW champion, uh, Remy LeVay, he's been in the ring with for RSW. I'm going to go with Vance Desmond just because he's kind of had a roll of a year here. Um, but Matt Taylor, God bless you because I know you're going to put up a hell of a fight. I got to add, these are two of my favorite guys in the business, period. I mean, two top-tier talents. Couldn't put them over enough. But you mentioned the match with Rucker. You got my brain kicking. I got a surprise for you guys. Bake, I promise you we'll get to you. But uh, a little little bit of something-something went on after that match, and uh, I'm not too happy about it. Since you brought it up, I'll tell you what we're going to do, fellas. Let me see. I'm trying to do it right now because uh, we're going to handle some business. Business? I'll tell you what. Who, who on here is friends with Lane Callie and can add him to the call? Rucker, add that fucker. I wouldn't say friends, but... I got you. Yeah, I got him on Facebook. I'll add his ass to the call. I want to talk to this fuck before Saturday. And uh, feel free, all of you, feel free to let him know what you think of him. Uh, Look at this fuck. What's up, Lane? Oh, ninja. Welcome oh, to the Roni. What's this? <laughs> nice nodule. <nautical>, nice <laughs> Way to go. Yes. You chicken shit! Oh, Do I bounce my head on my table? Yeah, Do I embarrass me? My man from this angle, you look like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. Oh, let, let me see your head. Absolutely. You still got that goose egg? You still got that goose egg? No. You're not going to get one over on me again? Oh, I promise you. I promise you. That, man. Imagine letting a cameraman get you this upset. A cameraman? I mean, be proud. I did drop him on his dome right before. My no. Dad. No. Yeah, out of him, too. I'm not going to get a bad like that again. It's at Fairmont State Lane, this is where we get the crowd, baby. In front of so many people, you're going to no. get humbled up. No. no. You got any guesses? Uh, you got any got guesses it. who I got? No, I don't care who it is. I don't give a damn. What is wrong with you? You're not the usual Lane Cowley. I think I fucked no. you up. Are no. You He's pooping. No. And I got to give uh, credit to Ruck. He dropped you on your head, too. So that was a no. double banger. He only though. dropped me on my head because of you. Do what? He only dropped me on my head because of you. Yeah, That's what you did. That's what you did to me. Yeah, you feel like you get one up on me again. I've lost sleep because you look at these bags. They're because of you. I got a bag you can look at. I love it. I'm what? Got his ass. You have to tuck it back. You're Norman. outnumbered no. now, Bobby. No, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Talk is That's what's wrong with me. You're about to find out. This is a different Lane Callie coming into Fairmont State. You got any guesses, Lane? Do you you want to guess who I got? I don't care who it is. I'm not going to be embarrassed by you again. Promise you. No more. Promise yeah, you. you. Fucking concussed, so this match should happen. <laughs> yeah, you might not even be cleared for the match. Lane, get your ass to a doctor. Get, make sure you're okay so I can embarrass you again Saturday. No. First, wash your hands. It's not going to happen again. Shut up, Nolan. You fat chick fucker. I'm tired of you two. <laughs> Coming at Nolan. I mean, I mean guilty. I mean, that one. I hate to. <laughs> it's the last time you do anything to me. The 31st Saturday in Fairmont. I'm going to get you. you might. I'm going to get anybody you come to get me with. You piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. I hate you. I hate you. Uh -oh. Okay, that was weird. I'm here in flush. That was <laughs> He's not I've right. never wanted to call somebody a slur more in my life <laughs> right now. Dude, I know the feeling. Believe me. I would also like to send out a PSA. He was correct, though. Yeah, well. <laughs> at least he put you over while he was here, huh? Dude, that was weird. I don't like don't it. Do drugs, kid. I don't, I don't like it. I hope somebody what drops. What are you talking about before a podcast? I mean, I got McDonald's. Now you mention it. 
Man, I'm at, I'm at a loss for words. I really am. Bake, we were discussing uh, Matt Taylor, Violent Vance Desmond. It's going to be a banger. What do you think? Uh, first of all, I'm never at a loss for words. I'll cover for you because you can't do your job correctly. Um, as as was by everybody in this party except the child at the bottom, uh, Matt Taylor, absolutely incredible. I love watching his matches. But, I mean, let, let's be honest here. Vance Desmond is basically unappreciated adjacent. Uh, he trained Logan. He's been around forever. He's done everything, wrestled everyone, been on television. I don't see this being the day he loses. I feel like he is smart enough to train up for somebody like Matthew Taylor. And, yeah, I'm going with Vance. Vance is taking it. Vance, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't he triple crown just this year alone? Yeah. Or, or were they tag champs last year? Van- when was Vance I hate that, champ- boys, but I'm about to I'm about to uh, have myself a surprise. Tag <laughs> champs? Is it FCT? Oh, uh, man, it's not that surprise. I wish it was, though. It would have been a good one. Uh-oh. <laughs> SW champion the champ Dustin here. Alexander. This Dustin, you there? Professional. All right, we'll move on. <laughs> You're surprised. <laughs> He's here in spirit. Just taking up space. Dirty. Soul came. He'll be ready by the main event. I'm sure of it. He's probably that. Nope. But, Bake, you were saying. No, it's like I said, I'm going Vance 100%. Vance is not going to slip up in a match like this. Uh, Vance has very good record at Fairmont State. You know, besides the whole almost dying with being put through a stage thing. Other than that, very good record at Colbank Hall. Uh, I'm going with Vance Desmond. I did that. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see, all you got to do is kind of come over a little bit. And <laughs> bit. There's nothing more Dustin than, like, coming in to interrupt Bake. <laughs> all right, Anthony. There's no here. thought that he has that I don't care. Wait. Hey, Dustin, who's going to win between Vance and Matt Taylor this Saturday? Uh, I don't know. I'm going with Vance, but, I mean – you can flip a coin and I go Matt Taylor tomorrow. Yeah. Well, good thing like, we'll record today. Another one for the violent one. Yeah. <laughs> You're very familiar with both these men, Dustin. What 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 can the fans expect? Uh, so this is a potential show stealer. If you're writing down which match you should be looking forward to, if this isn't one, this should definitely be one A. We've been debating which one's going to steal the show. Well, I'll tell you, since we have you here, Dustin, uh, let's go ahead and uh, – Noah Ray, man. You ran into him at uh, ASW. I haven't seen the man. footage, but I heard what happened. Uh, what's going on? Man, fuck this guy. I can't wait to get my hands on him. He, uh, he wants to run his mouth about me. He wants to run his mouth about Nikki. So, I mean, he's, he's hiding things, and that's cool for him. But he just needs to understand that he's coming to the north. I run the North. So if he thinks he's going to walk in here and it's going to be the same old song we had in Southern West Virginia, I can't wait to knock his teeth out and bleed his blood all over that, that Cole Bay call. That's my plan. Fuck yeah. I can't wait. Dustin, you got to go, buddy. So I just appreciate you joining us. Appreciate you. Hey, just, just trying to do my part. Thank you. Thank you, champ. Rucker, what do you think about uh, Matt Taylor and Violet Vance Desmond? Dude, I don't care who wins. I'm going to be watching it, though. No doubt. (laughs) It's going to be fucking awesome. Um, But I think I will go with Vance for the simple fact. I think with just like with... um, else who beats me i want to beat them in the future and 
to crown himself the internet champion, he did whoop my ass. Yeah, he didn't just beat you. He almost killed you. Yeah, I took a bunch of treats. I commentated on that match. You were very good on commentary. When when I the concussion went away, I, I was very impressed. <laughs> but um, Vance is somebody like he. Well, both of them honestly are just so good, and it's like when you watch them wrestling, especially as like a younger person as myself is, you look up to them. Even if they might uh, beat the crap out of you to a point, I still look up to them, and it's just like this is where I want to be at a certain point, and. <laughs> I admire both of them greatly, but I think I'd give it to Vance. Yeah, you would know. You would know, man. That was the most uncomfortable shit of my life, watching him stomp your head in over and over. Yeah, had you being the one getting stomped, you know? Yeah. Huh? I watched it on a big fucking TV. <laughs> Fake watch with two eyes and one hand. <laughs> I had it on my phone and the TV. It's on the channel. Check it out. Uh, Trials of Ascension Episode 2. We got Episode 3 coming out this Saturday. We got the Tag Team Championship. We got uh, DD Vice against Piece of Shit Lane Cali. It's going to be a good one, so I appreciate the segue into the plug there. But uh, if you're in the area, you better be at Fairmont State. But if you're miles away, watch Trials of Ascension. We'll get you the footage for Fairmont State as quick as possible. Fellas, I got a stockpile of matches over here, in case you didn't know. All yep. righty, folks. We're on the main event, I believe. Yes, we are. Noah Ray of the Big Tater Gang. He's going to have Scott Anderson with him, so that's a little fishy. Against Dustin Alexander. I don't know if he's with us or not. I see him, but I don't know if he's there. But I'll start with you, DD. This is going to be a war, bro. Main event, seven-year itch. RSW, heavyweight championship on the line. Who you got, DD Vice? Man, Dustin's full. No, it was a boy. It's title versus title, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. Hey. Ooh. Boone County Ooh. title on the line as well. Boone County. You know what else came from Boone County? The wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> Why? Um, I, I gotta go with Dustin on this one, and I've seen him. I've seen him pull pull out a lot of. A lot of wins. I gotta, I gotta go with Dustin. Gotta go. With, hey, only because I, I feel bad because I punched his old lady in the face once. Yeah, I was fucked up. I'm the bad guy though, guys. Remember. Yeah. I never punched Nikki in the face. Hey, listen. Hey, neither did I. You almost did. Not me. I, I didn't even come close. I don't think. No, I wasn't close. I was. I was going through some shit back then. <laughs> like, I, I was in a dark place. <laughs> My bad. We all go she, through it. She be high. That was also at Fairmont State. Talk about moments, man. That was a shock. <laughs> Hanging out with Zach Meyer can't really be that bad. That you hey, was that the power driver? Yeah, the yeah. power driver. <laughs> Dustin, you got anything you want to say about that? About what? About the match? About DD being a piece of shit? What yeah, do you want me to speak about? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I, 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 he, was, he knew what he was doing. If he attacks her, he gets to me. He thought he was going to get a title shot out of it. I mean, kudos for trying, but, you know. Back and line, kid. Oh, it's going to be a war. Nolan, what are you thinking about this one? Ooh, it's a toppy, toppy, toppy. Noah's a big-ass boy. Big ass boy, but Dustin, you got the uh, you got the old heart of the champion. You got the hunger in you, son. You got what it takes to get your target in the scope and pull that goddamn trigger on the kill shot, son. And I know that from experience because I was the one that had to beat it into you. Regardless, Dustin Alexander, I believe you come out of here not just with one championship. But with two championships, I believe Dustin Alexander is going to be the champion of two different companies at RSW's seven-year anniversary. Because regardless of Scott Anderson, regardless of it all, Dustin finds a damn way. Don't he? And that'll be a moment. Hell yeah. Bake? 
What are you thinking, man? I actually have a lot of thoughts on this match. Have at it. And I mainly agree with everybody here to a point. Dustin just took a much-earned vacation, but a vacation nonetheless. That could lead to one of two outcomes. <laughs> back well-rested and ready to whoop ass. And if that's what we get, that's a win for Dustin. The flip side of that coin is after a break that long with only one match in between, are you ready to be back on that grind? Is he ready to be in there in this giant moment against this giant man throwing giant hands after a break? I personally would feel like you would want all the preparation in the world for a match against a man like Noah Ray. So for me, it's a toss up. But I fully believe if I'm being put on the spot that Noah Ray takes it on Saturday. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, God. That'd be a downer. We're celebrating it would be. seven years. Here's the question, though, right? And this is another reason I think it because I love chaos. What happens? He takes what happens down to when ASW. That can't but happen. obviously, there's going to be moments where cannot be here due to previous engagements. So the question becomes, how do you balance that workload? That's a lot for either man in this situation. That's true. But it's more so for Noah because he is not a regular at RSW. Yeah. The crazy thing. Crazy thing to think about. Could we potentially lose our championship? Could we potentially go months and months without our champion? That can't happen, especially on our birthday. Can't happen. Will not happen. And I would like to add to what you said there, uh, Bake, this vacation while he's been away. He's been fighting Noah Ray in ASW. He was in like I said, there was, yeah, that, that happened. I, I said that. That did happen. Also, also, another championship match just this past weekend in Ohio. What was the promotion, Dustin? One of them Ohio feds. Fight, uh, fight Night Wrestling. There you go. He was, he was out there wrestling in Ohio. Ohio uh, yeah. I, I think it was like a strip club or something. It was, it? It very, it was very much a D.D. Vice spot. I was, was there a, one time. It was, it was it either a strip it. club or like a nighttime bar gimmick. Okay. Yeah, it was very much a D.D. Vice kind of place. Had fancy lights going on and women of the night. He'd have fit right in. I have dollar readers. I want to see the video. I don't know about the dollar readers. <laughs> and you won't see me there. So, Bake, you're saying no Ray's going to take our title on our birthday. Is that what you're predicting? All oh, chance. Man, I hate that. I really do. I really hate that thought. You say I liked it. I do like chaos, but nah, not on our birthday. Rocker, what are you thinking, Bobby? I think at this thank you like every, almost everybody we picked tonight who we think is gonna go over. Dustin's beaten most of them. He's beat our current uh, internet champion. He's beaten our current junior heavyweight champion. He beaten uh, uh he's beaten everybody practically. I can't think at the moment, I'm sorry. But and I think it just comes down to Dustin's beat everybody. He's been on an insane role. And I think his momentum will keep going. But Bake did bring up a good point that I didn't even think about. He a break. And that could come into his detriment because that is a big, tough boy who, who's an animal, who also will come in. He's been on a roll himself. And he can come in and take it. But I think history has shown Dustin is one to pull out all the and come out on top. Especially in Fairmont State. Let me tell you, two years ago, I'm front row at the uh, RSW uh, five-year anniversary. Dustin and Zeke Mercer. I'd never seen Dustin wrestle in my life. 
He made a fan of me that night. Uh, you can watch the video back, hear it in my voice, how impressed I was. So I'll just throw it out there. Fairmont State, Dustin Alexander is fucking undeniable at Fairmont State. He's fucking undeniable, period. Dustin, I'm going to ask you your thoughts on this match, and we can barely hear you, so yell into that phone. What's going to happen this Saturday at Fairmont State? If you're honest about this, if you really break this down, that's everyone around the outside. I proved I was down in Madison. I could beat Noah Ray. I had a beat in the middle of the ring. This match will be decided by what happens with everyone surrounding the ring. It's just a one-on-one -on -one contest. No one else involved. No, Ray can't touch me. Okay. Let me ask you this. Let's say Scott Anderson gets involved. Does Nikki get involved? I'm going to punch she right in the Scott? mouth. I mean, Nikki's not one to sit idly while bullshit's going on. That's why I say it. So <laughs> you have I mean, some backup. Let me throw it out there to the audience that don't know. Nikki, Dustin's wife, is a trained professional wrestler. I think she could handle Scott Anderson if she had to. God damn, that's a tall-ass task. That's a tall-ass task, but when she's done, she's going to make his nails look fucking beautiful. She's going to give him Peter <laughs> just nails. She's a bad woman, but that's a lot of boy right there. That's a lot of boy. Dustin, plug the nail company while you're at it. Let's give her a free plug. So, he owns her own nail company. It's called Eclectic Claws. That's E C C L E C T I C. You can find her on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, probably in your local supermarket. I dig it. <coughs> Fellas, we've been at it for an hour and a half. It's currently 10 after midnight, so we're going to wrap this bad boy up. Yeah, we're shit. Yeah. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. This is one of those Ronies, man. This has been one of those Ronies. I appreciate you. It's past Rucker's bedtime. Wrap it up, V. <laughs> I'm going to give everybody all the time life. they want to talk about this Saturday. Up. Let me know what's going to happen. We'll start with Dee Dee. We'll go down the line till we get to the champ. Dee Dee, sell me this show. What's going to happen this Saturday? Seven year itch, Colbank Hall, Fairmont State. There's going to be a lot of wrestling. A lot of wrestling. Be a lot of celebrating. Celebrate. A lot of celebrating. There's gonna be a lot of slapping, slapping. and there better be some fucking cake. Cake. What kind? Of? Grab them cakes. Oh, I hate it when you do it to me. Who knows that? Who knows grab that them cakes? Your dog. Yeah. That's why Dee Dee Vice is the fucking man. Yo, when I was at the supermarket earlier today, you know this orange crush cake. Well, yeah, that, that that like amazing. diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Of course my big orange ass cake. Cake. Tell Mitchell's gonna be fucking stoked. Putting over the orange crust cake. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but he said cake. And I remember seeing it like a fever dream. <laughs> Nolan Ryan, this Saturday, what can we expect? Oh, you can expect one good ass whooping at age. I've been in the gym. Pumping that iron, sculpting old Kurt Sloan and Luke Devereaux here, getting them ready. And come Saturday, we are going to put Trevor Gage to work. I love it. Bake, you're finally coming home, baby. Welcome back. I'll be so glad to see you. I hope to get you on commentary. I one person will be. Yeah, hey, there you go. Bake, what's the plan this Saturday? What can the fans expect? Uh, the plan is to come back for yet another anniversary show that will probably blow out last year's anniversary show, so on and so forth. For the first time ever, you will have the entirety of the unappreciated in one building in one time. One time. I will probably receive boos louder than have been heard at that building. The fans will enjoy plenty of professional wrestling and plenty of heartache when unappreciated wins said matches. But at the end of the day, we move forward. And this is just step one to year eight. Which will also probably involve a whole hell of a lot of unappreciated. Let's go. Anthony Rucker, you're returning to the place you made your debut with your tag team championship. What can the fans expect at Fairmont State? Car full of fucking bangers and a title retention from Anthony Rucker. And hopefully a good time. Mostly. Hey, fucking eight. 
What? What? Fucking cake. Cakes. Yeah, and get DD Vice a goddamn cake. Well, Orange crust. Oh, cake. somebody bring me some cake. Where the Rizats at? <laughs> Eddie Bake is single now. Bake is single. I ain't seen no hoes at these shows since I've been single. Ladies, Bake is single. We might have we might have a shirt for you, my friend. <laughs> we'll go to a little Vegas after Bake. I'm telling the female fans, wash your pussy, get up to Fairmont State, <laughs> holler at Bake. Yeah, please. please do look it. at that first section. No, that one looks clean. I would lick that one. <laughs> this is definitely getting limited monetization. I know it. Rucker, uh, was you done selling the show? You got anything else? Dude, go to De- go to Dustin. Just go. <laughs> yeah. Dustin Alexander, you're returning to the venue where you won the very RSW Heavyweight Championship that you hold now. What do the fans expect this Saturday? Baby, this Saturday is just going to be one giant game of can you top this. From first match to final match, it's everyone out there trying to outdo what they just seen. And I promise you, it's going to build and build and build. We're going to blow the damn roof off this place. No doubt in my mind. I love it. Saturday, bring your cowbells, bring your whistles, bring some air horns. Let's have a good time. Make bring a Lego. Oh, he still got the Lego from the match, Dustin. And bring bitches for me. Bring That's bitches. what I'm saying. We're not bringing bitches. <laughs> this is why I want to lose the title right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, how are you going to get these Rizats to sleep with you when they don't e- no one even likes you? Wow. That's they're just hard. Gonna, they're just going to have sex with you out of spite. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't do that. That's horrifying. <laughs> I'm not a piece of meat. <laughs> they're going to fight me. They can stab me when they're done for all I give a fuck. <laughs> Single for too fucking long. Convenient and I never have to see him again because I live in another state. <laughs> I, Bake, I've seen some girls travel from Pittsburgh to these anniversary shows. Now, be careful. All right, cool. We got a game plan. This Saturday, it's going down. Cold Bank Hall, in my opinion, the most stacked card in RSW history. You can't go wrong with any of these matches. Any match could steal the show. Fellas that's competing, my challenge to you, steal the show. Make make your moment. This is your time to make your moment. This is what we do at Fairmont State. We do it every single time. It's only $10 to get in. You bring your family, we can probably make it a little cheaper for you even. You're a student. Shit, just come on in the door and show us your ID. It's going down this Saturday. Never, ever, fellas, have I been more excited for an RSW show. Never have I been more excited for any wrestling show than this Saturday. We are fucking RSW. We're going to show you what we're capable of. I promise you, you've never seen a show like this. The fucking champ is here. We're going to fucking do it. We love you. I thank you guys for joining me. Hang on the line with me so we can say perverted things to each other when we're done. We love you. Stay tuned to the Roni. New Trials of Ascension. Podcasts left and right. I got stockpile fucking matches. You're in the right fucking place for wrestling. I promise you that. I'm fucking stoked. Let's get the fuck out of here. Real Shooter Shop here checking in with you as we wrap up RSW. There goes the neighborhood here in Buchanan. If you missed it, you missed a great night of action. But don't worry. Real Shoot Wrestling, we're going to be back Saturday. Historic night as Real Shoot Wrestling celebrates seven years. We're going to be at Fairmont State University, Colbank Hall, next Saturday. Bell time is scheduled for 7 p.m. Details. What the fuck? Sean Pugh, did you see what happened out there? I witnessed what happened. Tally, that muscle-bound moron from the uninitiated and that other pocket pool playing pal Logan Taylor got involved to send a message to me. If the unappreciated wants to play these games, Sean, Let's play those games. Let's ban them from ringside. Next week, 
Nolan Ryan, Trevor Gage, no unappreciated, barred from ringside. I'll tell you what, Nolan Ryan, I can do that for you. Next week, Fairmont State University, as Real Shoot Wrestling celebrates seven years, the unappreciated, they're barred from ringside. You got your match. I'm going to fuck that boy up. Yeah, folks, be sure to join us next weekend, next Saturday, Fairmont State University, Colbank Hall, Real Shoot Wrestling, celebrating We're seven years. Death grip. Real Shoot Wrestling, you know, Dustin Alexander in specific, I saw your little challenge. You want me to come up north, put my all-star wrestling Boone County Championship on the line, you put up your RSW Heavyweight Championship, and, you know, allow me to answer that in a minute. But Dustin, I just want to tell you, you know, as the kids say, give you your flowers, tell you I'm a little bit proud of you, because quite frankly, in my opinion, you were just getting a little far too comfortable sitting up there up north, and hey, who could blame you? sitting in your big throne, that big purple belt, thinking you're the man. You know, got cute after a while, but you said, hey, why don't I take a risk for myself, go down south, have a crack at Noah Ray's Boone County Championship. You tried and you failed, but hey, there's no shame in that. There's a long list of fellas that can say the same. But Dustin, I couldn't help but notice you were quite a bit upset with the way things went down in Madison, specifically the involvement of somebody I consider family and Scott Anderson. And, uh, you know, it's not just you. Plenty of people don't like our underhanded tactics, they call them. But, forgive me, I kind of don't understand that. So, let me get this clear. Somebody I consider family, once again, and Scott Anderson was there, and he had my back, and everybody's supposed to be so shocked, that's so wrong. It's last time I checked, family does everything for each other. You know, Dustin, you were so mad, you called me a bitch. And, you know, I don't know where you're from, I don't really give a shit either. I don't think anybody does. But when you call someone a bitch where I'm from, that's a lot more than just a word, son. But hey, I'm cool, calm, collected. I try to sit back and really think, you know, I kept saying to myself, there's something deeper there as to why Dustin Alexander's so mad. And when I realized what it was, because I think I, I nailed it, I started to feel a little empathetic for you, Dustin, because if I was in your position, I think I'd be pissed off too, you know, if I was you. And every time I came out, with that air-headed bitch you call a wife who did nothing for you but dance around ringside like some half-naked hag trying to get the crowd to cheer for you because you can't do it, you damn self! I think I'd be pissed off too, Dustin. Let me regurgitate something you said. You were interviewed on your pal Spooky Loose podcast. That's right, I saw that. He asked you about our upcoming fight in Madison. You, asked, you said, you actually implored, who right now in Southern West Virginia is hotter than Noah Ray? The answer is nobody. For the first time in a while, Dustin, you're goddamn right. Because every time I step through the ropes, I'm expected to deliver. I over-deliver every time. I don't get in here and speak often, but every time I do, people listen to numbers speak for themselves. I'm not some promotional pony. I am real. I bring variety. I'm not some kid trying to kiss ass the promoter saying, please come on Saturday, see me live my dream. This ain't a dream to me, Dustin. Is this your dream? Every time you step in the ring of Noah Ray, they don't call that a dream. They call that a fucking nightmare. You learned that in All-Star Wrestling, you're about to learn times two comes real shoot. Because that's right, motherfucker. I accept. You call me the best in Southern West Virginia? Well, I'm coming to prove I'm not just the best in Southern West Virginia. Not just Northern West Virginia. In the whole goddamn state. So you want a challenge? Title for title? You're on. I call that the easiest payday of my goddamn life. Pack a lunch, kid, because I'm coming, bitch! Got a death grip! Just in case you've been living under a rock and you didn't get the memo, I, RSW Original, founder, of the most dominant group in the history of that company, the unappreciated. Bake has been reinstated by RSW owner Tim Cross. Thank you, boss. I appreciate it. And while I can't talk about what led to this suspension, we don't need to. We look at the future. And the future is the seventh anniversary show at Fairmont State University Cobank Hall. That building is very important to me and the rest of the unappreciated. And it would not be an anniversary show 
without the man who's been there for the other six. So, enough of y'all having too much fun. Gone. Fans, happy not to see me around? Done. Because I will be there August 31st in Fairmont State University when the unappreciated is in full force. All five members. Well, I guess that only leaves one thing. See you soon, RSW. Shout out my boys, the Handsome Devils. Saturday night, August 31st, Fairmont State University. Real Shoot Wrestling returns, but this Saturday, this isn't just another Saturday. This Saturday night is special. This Saturday night is a celebration. And the only thing that the human double wide loves more than a celebration is dimples on a woman, Kate Bush, and the fear in a man's eyes when he's about to catch a beating. So Christian Noir, Dallas Star, Tyler Jacks, boys, let's get ready to party. Let's get ready to celebrate seven years of itching, seven years of bitching, seven years of hard work with Real Shoot Wrestling. Boys, let's give them what they came to see. Wrestling. A death grab. Last, but certainly not least, in this trifecta of terror that the unappreciated plan on unleashing at Cole Bank Hall is a match I'm actually extremely excited for. It's a match I've been wanting to see for a long time. And now my eyes will be right there ringside to watch Logan Taylor defend the RSW Junior Heavyweight Championship against Huffman, the leader of the... Sorry, sorry. Old habits, um, you can't use that anymore. Against the 8-bit kid, Huff Manley. Now, Huff, I got nothing but respect for you, kid. I like you. Problem being, you're going up against my number one draft pick. You are going up against the man that I built the unappreciated around. You're going up against my little brother. You're going up against Logan Taylor. I'm not taking anybody against Logan. Logan has a vicious streak that has not been seen in this industry for decades. And I promise you, that is not going to end on August 31st. So at Fairmont State University, we are looking for the sweep. As all five members are in the house at the same time. And Logan Taylor walks out still. RSW Junior Heavyweight Champion. See you soon, RSW. This Saturday, Colbank Hall, Fairmont State University, we celebrate seven years of Real Shoot Wrestling. It's a place where we've made history time and time again. It's a place where we make moments. And Saturday, you best believe Spooky Lou is getting his moment, Lane Cali, when I write the biggest wrong I've made yet in my wrestling career. You know, when I invited you to Real Shoot Wrestling Lane, I still had a little bit of hope for you. I thought maybe I could bring you here, put you against some of our top tier athletes, and we could humble you up and make something of you. But you know what? It just ain't happening, is it? You're just making my life a living hell. I'm done with it. I am done. I've been done. This Saturday, I've called on another friend to humble you up, Lane, and you ain't even ready for this one. I promise you that. And you're asking, why Spooky Lou get to make a match? Why Spooky Lou get to pick my opponent? Because people like me, Lane. Management likes me, Lane. Sure, they like the fact that you're selling us tickets, but the locker room, we can't stand you, and we want you gone. This Saturday, we humble you up, and we get rid of Lane Cali. RSW, seven-year itch. Lane Cali, you're about to be my seven-year bitch.